every single day. Eight million pieces of plastic are dumped into the ocean. Over five and a half trillion may now be floating in the open ocean when microplastics are included as well. This stream of waste is washing away the health of some of the Earth's most diverse organisms, damaging marine life, and ending up in our food. One expert even estimated that by 2050, there would be more plastic in the sea than there are fish. Is it already too late to save our oceans? Some of science's most brilliant minds are working tirelessly on solutions. From river barricades blocking plastic before it reaches the ocean to a 400 meter wide platform in the middle of the ocean. Hi, I'm Regis, and join me as we take a look at five of the most promising pieces of ocean cleanup technology, starting with a revolutionary new mobile plastic recycler called Manta. Manta is a near completely autonomous hybrid sailboat that roams the waters collecting pieces of plastic. There are already boats that collect plastic waste from oceans, so what exactly is so special about Manta? After picking up plastic debris using nets, a conveying system, and two separate modules, the waste is separated and then converted into energy through a treatment plant. A vaporizing system heats the plastic up to super high temperatures, which degrades it into much smaller molecules. This produces a synthetic gas that can be reused as electricity. The team behind it claims that this emits hardly any carbon dioxide into the air, and that the entire process is eco-friendly. The best part is that 95% of this is done on board the boat, meaning that the plastic the manta eats powers the boat's journey. And this means fewer trips back to shore to empty the plastic and refuel. Manta eats through four tons of waste per hour, mainly around coastal regions and near rivers, in places where plastic clogs up the water. Over a year, the company believes that Manta could collect up to 10,000 tons of plastic, equal to the weight of the Eiffel Tower. The model is the second vessel produced by the company Sea Cleaners and will begin construction this year, aiming to be completed by 2025. Number four, the Mobile Skimmer. The Mobile Skimmer is a custom-built vehicle which functions much like an excavator. The advantage of the Mobile Skimmer is that it's manually operated, meaning that drivers can move around freely and quickly pick up every piece of waste, instead of waiting for an automated system. However, this has its disadvantage too, as it requires constant supervision, and according to the company, it takes a few people to operate. Having only opened in 2017, Four Ocean has already collected more than 13 million kilograms of plastic and debris. Four Ocean raises much of its money by selling recycled bracelets, handmade by workers in developing countries like Indonesia and Guatemala. For every bracelet sold, the company promises to pick up one pound of trash. Testing for the mobile skimmer was carried out in 2019, and the following year, it began use in Central America. However, since then, there haven't been any updates from the company about the product. Instead, 4Ocean has focused on different technologies. The Harbor Skimmer runs 24-7, pulling trash in from the water around docks, and has more than five times the capacity of the Mobile Skimmer. The company's newest release is the Pixie Drone Robot, a remote control device that uses LiDAR technology for navigating and can be switched onto automatic mode too. This will help make the global cleanup effort way more efficient. Innovation is key to protecting our water, which is why the Ocean Cleanup has released more than seven different systems to block trash floating down rivers. The latest of these is the Interceptor 006. The Interceptor 006 is the latest plastic blockade designed to handle the flash flooding of the Rio Las Vacas River in Guatemala. Originally, Ocean Cleanup installed an eight meter high interceptor trash fence but testing found that it wasn't strong enough to prevent waste from funneling through. Powerful water currents from the flash flooding caused trash tsunamis, sending debris colliding with the fence at high speeds, effectively flattening it. The Interceptor 006 is a new first-of-its-kind system called an Interceptor Barricade. The Interceptor Barricade is made up of two components, one further downstream from the first. These are stabilized by huge foundations of concrete dug eight and a half meters into the ground. The system is still being tested and it'll be modified as results come back for analysis. Early signs are positive though. 
with a video posted to Ocean Cleanup's social media showing that 85 truckloads worth of debris had been collected and removed in just a single day. Between April of last year and February of this year, Interceptor 006 collected a mammoth 857,000 kilograms of trash. Whew, that's a big number. Or more than one and a half times the weight of the heaviest cargo plane in the entire world. Ocean Cleanup's biggest project yet is the System 03, a huge 2.2 kilometer long barrier linked between two boats that floats through the ocean. The barrier dips around four meters underneath the water and has been operating near the Great Pacific Garbage Patch since mid-2023. We actually already dove deep into this project in a previous video, so check that out if you'd like a closer look. Over in Australia, a product is making it easier for councils and local governments to clean up their harbors in a safe way. These are called sea bins. Where better to come up with an ocean cleaning solution than Australia? The country is surrounded by pristine beaches, features the world-famous Great Barrier Reef, and is renowned for its surfing culture. But that relationship is also depositing roughly 130,000 tons of plastic into the ocean every single year. That's almost like 10 Brooklyn bridges worth of trash stacked on top of each other. Australia is making small steps towards reversing that with a product called Sea Bins. These bins sit just underneath the water's surface and operate the same way that a regular pool skimmer cleans by drawing in and trapping objects floating through the water, kind of like a filter. Then a pump powered by a small motor pushes the water out the bottom of the bin, up through a pipe, and ejects clean water into the ocean again. Each bin can hold up to 20 kilograms of waste and on average captures around four kilograms throughout an entire day. The advantage is that they can be used constantly 24 hours a day. Sea bins work better as a system, kind of like trash bins. Between January and December of 2022, a network of 32 sea bins at Sydney Harbor captured over 2 million plastic objects, almost half of which were dangerous microplastics. This is a great start to address the country's growing trash problem on a local level, but solutions on a national scale still need to be found. Number 1. The Pacific Garbage Patch Screening This massive project was proposed in 2016 as an ambitious way to address ocean pollution. The model involved a gigantic platform measuring 400 by 400 meters that would collect plastic floating through the water. Water would be slowed down by a series of mesh panels which work together to filter plastic particles which float to the top, while marine life is largely undisturbed. The mind behind the project, Marcella Hunch, has since pivoted to founding a startup called Everwave, which the Pacific Garbage Screening Project website now directs to. She says that she and her team changed their strategy and now want to stop the pileup of pollution before it makes its way to the ocean in the first place. That doesn't mean that all the previous work was lost, though. The waste collection platform that formed the basis of the original model is in the process of being adapted to rivers instead. For now, Everwave uses a multi-stage approach to tackle plastic buildup. First, a drone surveys an area and uses artificial intelligence to locate waste hotspots and target the primary source of the trash. Since the company is working to prevent pollution too, facilities are installed on land, like extra bins, while working together with local communities. Then, boats called Collectics are used to patrol the river waters on extensive collection missions. These boats are specially designed to access narrow waterways and unload quickly, meaning that they can clean out up to 20 tons of garbage every day. This waste is then recycled at local plants to be repurposed. The startup has worked in Slovakia, Serbia, Romania, Egypt, and even as far as Cambodia. To date, Everwave reports 1.4 million kilograms of waste retrieved from waters worldwide. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.